A pick is a pick is a pick. Am I correct? You know, guitar pick. It's a piece of plastic that we hold, we strike the guitar strings, and the strings move and sound is made. Well, not necessarily. Now, picks come in all different shapes and sizes, right? You go to your guitar store and there's just trays upon trays of picks, all different shapes. There's tiny ones, there's big ones, there's round ones, there's square ones, there's triangle ones, you name it, it's all there. But the material is something that we need to discuss because Diodario just released a new pick, an acrylic pick. It's made of an acrylic material. These picks are called Acrylux picks. And there's two different formulas. There's the Rezo formula, which is uh, red, and there's the Nitra formula, which is kind of a gray perloid pattern. Now, I went ahead as a guitar geek and I, I felt obligated. I had to try these out. So I got a pack of uh, three of each, the Acrylux Rezo and the Acrylux Nitra. Now, the Rezo is a pure acrylic pick and the Nitra is an uh, acrylic, uh, acrylic nitrate, nitrate kind of mix. And the, what intrigued me about these picks was the professed tone that they would impart upon your guitar. Now, I will say this. I think these picks have a very unique tone in that the tone that these picks produce is definitely on the darker end of the spectrum. Think dark, think warm, think woody. Uh, those are the kind of terms that I would describe uh, these, these picks, the tone that these picks produce. Now, uh, on all their advertisement materials, Diodario claims that the Rezo pick, the pure acrylic pick, produces a bright tone, a more clear tone than the Nitra pick. Now, I will say I did notice that, but to a much lesser degree than I thought I would. I would say that the Rezo pick, the pure acrylic pick, uh, produces a subtly brighter tone than the Nitra pick. They're both, again, on the darker end of the spectrum, with the Rezo pick offering just a touch more clarity and articulation, and the Nitra pick definitely kind of in that warm category of tone. Now, I would definitely recommend trying these out. Uh, they come in packs of three. The packaging kind of looks like this. I mean, I opened it, but I wanted to show you guys. Uh, and there's a product video that they made. So you can kind of see these picks in action. And also they touch on the different sizes that the picks are made in. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. Introducing Acrylux, Diderio's first line of acrylic picks. Acrylux Rezo is made from 100% pure acrylic, resulting in better grip and a bright tone. Acrylux Nitra is an acrylic nitrate blend, giving the player a warmer tone. Both formulations are available in 1.5 mm thickness and in standard, jazz, and mandolin shapes. Now, one quick note on these picks, actually two. Uh, first and foremost, they come in a standard 1.5 millimeter thickness. So if you like a thicker pick, these are definitely for you. If you don't like a thicker pick, I don't know if they offer them in any other thickness. The second thing I wanna make, uh, make clear here is that although they are 1.5 millimeters thick, they're actually pretty flexible, which I think is, is why they are on that darker end of the tone spectrum. So make sure to check those out. I got mine, uh, again, they come in packs of three. I got the standard shape. I got one of each, so a three pack of each, the uh, Nitra and the Rezo versions. And I think, I wanna say they were about 12 or 14 bucks a pack. Uh, I'm not 100% certain on that, but uh, please check out the links and you can you can check them out for yourself. Definitely a, a cheaper tonal experiment. Experiment um, certainly cheaper than than buying another guitar. Although I wouldn't talk you out of that for any reason whatsoever.